Okay, everybody, welcome to Moving Forward with Andrea again. And it is October 17th, 2013, and I'm sitting here with the wonderful Catherine Ross, and we are in the Pompous Restaurant in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the Miracle Miles Shops in Planet Hollywood. So, first of all, I'm going to start off by um, letting Catherine tell us uh, what her passion is in life and how she went about things to give everyone a little insight. So, I'm going to let uh, Catherine talk. So, can you please tell me, like, how you started uh, with what you wanted to do in your life? Did it start from when you were young, your passion? And first, let, tell me, what is your passion? Well, my passion is to help people. I am very much into natural medicine and well-being. And I'm very much a girl girl, so I, do, I love cosmetics. So I'm looking for natural products out there. It's very difficult. So, as I say, necessity is the mother of all inventions. So now I'm um, putting out there, I'm launching a new brand for America. Um, it's called Surelash. Excuse me, can you tell me, can you say that a little bit louder? It's Sure Lash. It's instant eyelash extension in a bottle. It's made out of all natural products and it's hypoallergenic. It's environmentally friendly and it's really a convenient way of um, you know putting eyelashes on your um, sorry. So you started doing this because you wanted to help people out and you like natural products and you wanted to put something out there especially with eyelashes all of us women here we are very skeptical on using the best in eyelash stuff but as we all know a lot of things nowadays are made with chemicals that can harm our bodies in other ways which the government really doesn't care about because they make money on it not to down that but it's it's the truth and um, what you're saying is so you started a company that you started yourself or was it amongst others started myself yes okay and how long has this been going on for uh, the product is going to be launched in LA next week and it is a brand new brand uh, and it's going to be at the LA Ultimate Women's Expo in LA Convention Center on the 25th to the 26th of October. Wow, you are golden. Um, so that's going to be launched off. So did you have this launched um, in another country? Um, it was a sister brand in another country based in Australia. And it is another, it's actually targeted for the Australian market and also for New Zealand and the, the other Pacific countries. And is it the same name in that country? No, it's not. It's a different name. I'm not going to plug the name because I'm trying to separate the two together. Okay. Yes. But my brand is called Sure Lash and it's by my business name or company name called Kathari International. Kampari? Kathari. Kathari is a Greek yeah. Kathari is a Greek word for pure. Excellent. So um, that's starting this week coming up. And is this going to be sold everywhere, or you haven't figured that out yet? You're just launching the the newness of it and trying to see how it goes? It is going to be launched for North America, but we are planning to expand it to Europe as well. I'm going to Europe uh, in November. Wow, you're just getting around very quickly. God bless you. So, t so tell me, um, so as far as... Uh, all of this, um, I know you have some children. Can you please tell me a little bit about what's going on in your world? I have four children. Um, they are all six years apart. My eldest is 30 and my youngest is 12. Do the maths. <laughs> oh my God, you look wonderful. God bless you. And are, are your children still around you or everybody's like living in different areas now? The three older ones are independent and they live on their own and my youngest, 12 year old, I share custody with my ex-husband. Oh, wonderful. So have you been uh, doing this research for a long time for this company or and were you involved in other things or is it just this mainly? No, um, my fingers is <laughs> my fingers is in a lot of pies. <laughs> I actually design and produce handbags and bag organizers. What's the uh, name for that? So we can look that up. Yeah, the name for that is Cherry Blooms. 
uh, handbags and bag organizers. That's mainly in Australia. Okay, that's and so it's not over in this country yet. But is there a website in uh, worldwide? Yes, there is. It's called cherryblooms.com.au. Yeah. Can you spell that, please? Cherry Blooms is cherry is C H E R R Y B L O M S dot com dot au. And what kind of uh, bags? You, I know you were telling me that if you want something personalized, you can accommodate that as well because you have people that will make for you whatever that is that people want? We have a factory in China, it's in Guangzhou, China, and we uh, produce small quantity orders for designers. Is there a number they can reach you at too? They can reach me in America, my number is 415-688-9566. Okay, great, and um, let's get back to the, um, the eyelash extension but it's it's kind of like a mascara that's you would tell me it's natural and are you going to be selling it was I, I'm gonna have many women that are going to want to know where they can you know get this from you and I want you to give me the website for that is there an available American worldwide website it is available online you can purchase it it comes in a really elegant pack you've never seen anything like that before it's a two-part uh, and it's a two-part product which means one is got a transplanting gel and the other one silk fibers everything is made out of natural pro uh, materials like beeswax canuba wax and green tea extract as well as silk fibers Excellent. So what is the website? Can you spell that one for me so we can uh, have the folks know, our, all of our listeners? I'd appreciate that. Thank you. It's called surelash.com, which is S-U-R-E-L-A-S-H.com. Okay, great. And um, you're obviously generating all around the world, and you want to make sure people have a natural product. And what's your uh, passion for this? What's, what made you want to do this? I know you like natural stuff, but why just the eyelash? Why wasn't it skincare or, you know what I mean, just... I feel that there was a need for it, and it was some, a product that I actually got hold of very easily, and we developed it, and it was very, very successful. In so, Australia? In Australia. And so, therefore, we want to launch it in North America, and that's why I'm gambling and launching it in, next month. And how long has it been in uh, Australia for? It's only like a few months, like maybe six months. Okay, great. So you've already, and how has it been over there? Successful for you? It has been very, very successful over there. Yes, but uh, Australia has only got 23 million people. The population is very small compared to America's 314 million people. <laughs> so yeah. it's a no-brainer. <laughs> exactly. Well, anyways, it's great to find out all about that stuff. Um, I just want to get to the, the meat of, um, you know, moving forward and, like, what you're trying to do right now and as far as growing your company and you've done a lot of this on your own and you have some really good people behind you helping that you can trust which especially with you know anything to do with skincare or makeup or cosmetics has to be you know really sought out well and um, from meeting you and getting to know you you're a wonderful person and I appreciate you taking this interview with me um, I wanted to find out what your goals for the company are I, you know, you're, you're going to be in L.A. next week on the 26th, and can you just repeat again where that's going to be at? It's going to be at the L.A. Convention Center in Figueroa Street, and that's going to be on the 25th to the 26th uh, of October, mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be all about women and beauty and health, right? So can somebody purchase tickets for that? Is that something that is able to get? If I can get this interview up by then um, and people get to hear this, is there a way that, because I do have a lot of friends in L.A. and friends that are actually in the um, fashion industry that I'm sure would love to hear about this. They just turn up at the convention center and they can buy the ticket. And the show is on Saturday? Saturday and Sunday. Oh, so it's two days. So it's a health and beauty convention, everybody. So that's awesome. Now, after that, um, moving forward with your company and with yourself, what are, you, what are your goals for what you want to do in the future? 
with this. Where are you going after that anyways? I know you would started telling me after LA you're going to be going to... You, I'm going to Europe. I'm going to be in Zurich, Paris, London, um, Berlin, Amsterdam, Rome. Wow, I am just so excited to hear and see your journey as that goes along. I'm so happy to have met you and that you're my friend now. Um, as far as, uh, you know, yourself personally, how do you keep yourself moving forward like what kind of advice would you give people especially if you want to be a part of my book that I'm writing moving forward with Andrea and it's gonna have a lot of my interviewees in there and I want your insight on especially people some people think they have the right people around them and they don't like first of all my first question is how do you know who is the right people around you like what to you proves that can you just give me that in a roundabout way? For sure. My personal motto is that I need to trust the universe, that the universe has my back and it will pro provide for me. I need to trust people, whether some people are worth trusting or not, I need to trust them and until the time that they do otherwise, right? So do you trust them right off the bat or like how do you? I do trust them right off the bat. I've always transacted, I conducted every part of my business in that way. I give everyone a 100% score first yeah. until they do something wrong and that score goes down. Okay. <laughs> so um, as far as, um, that's, a, that's a good way of putting it. I hear you on that one because um, we don't want to waste time on people that aren't giving us 100%, especially when you know you are, it's, it's not a great feeling. But as we all know, uh, it's the way of the world and you know, um, some people are looking for other avenues and you just have to find out what that avenue is and hopefully it's the one that we're trying to be on the same road with them with when it comes to business. And um, as far as keeping that intact and if you do come across not good situations, how would you handle that so that our listeners would know maybe it might help them in their situations? You've got to keep things in perspective and you've got to do things like as kindly as you can to people who don't even deserve kindness yeah. because you are not doing them a favor, you're doing yourself a favor. When you're kind to others, you're being kind to yourself and you're going to be happier, right? It's less stress really. No, I understand because in the end, whatever's going to happen is going to happen anyways as my motto I told you earlier. Um, that I would never put squares into circles ever and um, it's it's along the same lines and, and you know you need to understand that you can't when you try to struggle and do that it's not going to work out and it's also wasted time and energy and then that person is now taking away from your positive energy which takes away from your persona and your mood and everything else so basically it's stress causing and it causes aging in my opinion. i sure you know from your opinion. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, you have a valid point there. Uh, I think when we conduct ourselves to other people, it's not about what really these other people are doing to us. It's about how we perceive what they do to us. And, and, what, and what you do about that. So if someone was to perceive you well, say you were going along in a good way with someone, you know, you think things are great, and then they perceive, well, you perceive that they're doing things in a bad way, and you see that coming, and, and it's not something you can walk away from, it's business, and this is something for my listeners, once again, moving forward. How do you get past that? Because I have so many interviewees that have different outlooks on this, and <clears throat> it's a really tough decision to decide what is right, because you don't want to rock the boat. Like you said, you want to be in kindness, but at the same token, you don't want to um, lose your level of uh, business with what you're trying to do for yourself, especially if that person's trying to take away from you. How would you handle that? Just letting go, because sometimes letting go is being kind. And letting go to be away from all the negativity and all the toxicity. You never want to be in a toxic situation, whether it's personal business or otherwise. So for us, you know, we have to just walk away from that situation, cut ties, and because 
you're going to do yourself a favor and themselves a favor when you do cut ties and let go. Otherwise, if you don't let go, you get dragged down. Mm. And then that, that you can't move forward like the show says. But um, yeah, but, but the thing that um, I understand you totally, it's just so hard. You're such a strong woman like myself and like other people that we know that may be around us, but not everybody's so strong. And sometimes it's hard for them to do that. Do you, is there anything you can think of that maybe might help those people that aren't, that aren't as strong as we are? Mm -hmm. You know, because it's hard because sometimes when it's the people closest to them that aren't their biggest cheerleaders that hurt them, how can they handle that? It's, it is a hard thing, especially if it's people that have been in their lives for a long time, they love them, it could be family, it could be close associates and work. I mean, how, you can't just walk away from certain people. With, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. Yes, um, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of self-discipline, yes. but if you maintain being in the now, like being present, and you decide, consciously make a decision saying, okay, I'm going to walk away from this situation because this is not doing me any favors, and this is going to make me stronger, whether it's going to hurt a little bit now, but in the end, it's going to be more beneficial for me, and I need to remain positive. So if your glass is full of positivity, the negative cannot come in there. If you decide you will be right. positive, then negativity has no place in it. That's right. It, it's um, everyone, and I've said this on other interviews, Catherine, that our minds are so powerful. We just all need to learn how to use it a little better, especially people that can't find the willpower to you know, stand up for what they believe in because they think that it's not the right thing to do because the people around them aren't believing in them and they need to know it is. As long as they're not hurting themselves or someone else, they need to know that it's the right thing because it's what's moving them forward in their lives so they can have the best life that they want. And I think it's important that they know that. So all of you out there that are listening need to understand that if you're in this position, that it's okay and that you're not alone because a lot of people go through this. But um, you do have to rise above because if you hang in there, you're going to have to let go sooner or later because the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. So I just want to uh, ask one more question before we go, and I want to find out um, what's your goals uh, in your future that you want to do in um, your life personally as well as work. My goal really is because I'm a, a naturopath, which is a natural medical practitioner. I really want to open a free clinic for people so I can help them with their uh, wellness and uh, uh, well-being and uh, health and whatever, like beauty, anything like that. All but I know, around. yeah, all around. It's a whole holistic kind of view to help people, men, women, children, whatever. But that's not gonna make me money. I need to fund that, so I need to find another avenue that could fund it. And launching products in another uh, level of my person, like the Shrew Lash and all the supplements and all that. In the it's, bags and stuff like yes, that. Yes, in the bags. That you do. All the fashion, all the beauty, and all the well being products is going to fund me to have this clinic. And that's my goal. That's why I'm doing this, so that I can help other people. You're, you're awesome. You know what? I just, every person that I interview that I sense is just such a great part of what I'm doing to help each and every one of you out there. It makes me feel so, so good to know that I feel so confident in knowing that your style of the way that you're going about things is awesome and successful for people that need help and even the ones that don't that it's just to be good you know it's it's just to be it's nice to be around that atmosphere and to have that positive energy around because it just makes everybody good because we are after all people we're only here once on this earth anyways and um, we only have one life to live and uh, you know live it the best you can because you do have the hand on that stick shift to your own life and we all know that and it's up to us to build the world that we want and if you want to evolve yourself around people that bring you down in 
then that's so be it. But if you want to do something about it, maybe some of these interviews and the book that's going to be coming out will help you. But thank you so much, Catherine Ross, for your time. You're wonderful, and I appreciate everything. Thank you so much, Andrea. You're a wonderful person. I am very honored to meet you. <laughs> thank you.